Capricorn, hi. So this is going to be a reading for December 11th through the 17th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Cappy. <clears throat> All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Four of Pentacles. So you're hanging on to something. You're really like, I'm not letting this go, goddammit. Okay. In the recent past, the Ace of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. This is kind of like a sense of curiosity towards something, but I feel like it grew into something bigger here. Uh, things changed. Where whatever you're looking at over there, you know, with that kind of, hmm, this is interesting, possibly turned into something a little more. Okay. In the current situation, the Three of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the King of Wands. Things are overall working out. Now, for some reason, there's somewhere in the middle there, there's an energy of overthinking things of, well, are they working out or not? Or, eh, 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 eh. Eh. Energetically speaking, I can see that they are, but... I don't know what's happening in the physical, though. But um, in the immediate future, the Queen of Swords, the World Card, the Knight of Cups. <clears throat> I mean, it looks like you're you're uh, kind of embodying this energy of a little a little more softer, a little like more. There's there's a lightness to it. There's there's like you're opening up a little more from your heart rather than being so drastic and so practical, you know, about things in general or about a particular situation. But let's clarify. Let's see what's up. Let me do the Four of Pentacles. The, ooh, the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups. Whoa, well, I can see why you're not letting this one go. Um, you're holding on to a partnership that carries a sense of commitment and a sense of happiness here. So it's something good by the looks of it. I mean, and you're like, this ain't going anywhere. And I don't blame you. I mean, with these kinds of energies, yeah. Yeah, you seem just about right about this one. All right. Let's see the Ace of Wands there in the recent past. <clears throat> Seven of Swords, Four of Cups, the Sun. Huh. Um, this is an interesting dynamic. And I feel like we're talking about the same situation that currently you're presenting as if mine, you know. Whereas in the past, there seems to be a little bit of back and forth. A little bit of, hmm, okay, this is interesting. But eh, I don't know if I have the time for it. Uh, and then getting a little pissed off that you didn't give it, you know. The time of the day and then being like is this a missed opportunity or like you know so there's a little bit of back and forth in regards to this situation there um let's do the page of wands overall remaining open to it but for the page of wands you get the knight of cups the hangman the chariot right. yeah something wow this feels like the freaking notebook or something uh not really but kind of um, uh, is it, it seems like the notebook and the way it comes together, not in the way it begins necessarily, because as it begins, and I see this kind of expanding on a pretty long period of time here, as it begins, yes, there is a sense of curiosity, but at the same time, not really leaning towards it in the way of, okay, let's give this a shot or, you know, just, just kind of like, okay, it looks good, but from the distance and it'll stay there. Um, and then for some reason, at some point, there's something that draws you in, like really starting to draw you in. And I don't see you responding to that, like, you know, like, oh my God, I feel this, let's go. Uh, not really. The way you respond to it is kind of in standby. You're not running away from it. 
but you're not approaching this fully yet uh, at this point. You're just kind of looking at it um, and feeling this this something drawing you in and just just kind of sitting with it for a little bit. Interesting. Interesting evolution of things here. Let's do the Wheel of Fortune. The Eight of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Star. And then it happens. Something happens. Somebody opened up their mouth here and spoke something. Which kind of brought this thing together. Um, it's... it's like if I were to look at this as it happens from above, I would see it as, okay, this is the time where it happens, you know, kind of like, uh, I'm not going to say meant to be because that's a little too much for what I'm seeing here, but it's, it's almost like pre-planned, almost like finally, you know, um, it clicks because it felt like it wasn't for a very long time and not that it wasn't because it was energetically, but physically, I don't know what the hell happened, like, ah, eh, whatever. You know, um, and at some point it did come together eventually, somehow. The right time, the right place kind of a deal. Let's do the Three of Cups in the current situation. The Knight of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Strength card. Let's do the Eight of Swords. <laughs> the Queen of Swords, the Fool, the Hierophant. And let's do the King of Wands. Wow. Okay. The Empress, the Magician, the Queen of Cups. Uh, in all honesty, energetically speaking, everything is perfect. I kind of get the sense that physically there's a little bit of a disagreement there somewhere. Um, this situation, this connection, whatever this is to you, wants to evolve, wants to move to the next phase of whatever this is. Um... And ultimately, looking at it from here, I see two people wanting to go in the, in the same exact direction, having the same exact goal. Um, their approach is not that different, but for some reason it's coming in as being a little different in the physical. So if you look at it from a bigger picture angle, you could kind of understand that this is not different at all in the way that these two people approach. One of them has a little bit of a deeper approach to it, like a more sensitive, more open to depth, to mm, so passionate about it. While the other one is a little more practical. Yeah, okay, from, from that perspective, you could say, okay, it's different. But that's about it. Everything else is the same. The goals, the path, the growth, everything. And whoever this is, Man, they've manifested this and they're manifesting this like crazy happening, you know, growing. And I feel like you are too, but you're kind of pointing me out to them here energetically. I don't know, this feels good for the most part. Let's do the Queen of Swords. This is, this is looking like a really nice situation if allowed. And if not allowed, it could get very complicated very fast. Um... If not allowed, meaning, but I want to do it this way. No, I want to do it this way. Mm, let's kind of fuck it up because we don't see each other's perspectives here. Yeah. Um, anyways, let's do the Queen of Swords in the immediate future. The Seven of Cups, the Three of Swords, the Five of Cups. Let me do the World card. Page of Swords, Nine of Swords, Page of Wands. Okay, so you're laying off of the, at least of the controlling aspect of the situation. Oh, I want it this way, but I want it this way. And, uh, uh, where do we meet halfway? We don't, because I want it like this and you want it like that. So it is what it is, you know. Um, that's a little bit of, you know, each of you hanging on to your own little sense of control or sense of ego there. Um, but it is coming to an end. And I like how it dies down. It's like, Okay, somebody's showing up really strong in it and then realizing how badly it's hurting them and then they take it down a notch. And so is the other energy. Like just at the same time it's happening, the, the dimming down of bar. Um and they're coming off of it. They're coming off of it slowly but surely, both energies here. So okay. So that's promising because the energies that are at play might actually be allowed to be what they are instead of being interfered with. 
Nice. Let's do the Knight of Cups. King of Wands, King of Swords, Five of Swords. Uh, it's still gonna show up, you know. Uh, that whole... And it's ultimately a, an ego clash kind of a situation. It's it's one of you wants it in a particular way, while the other one wants it in another particular way, which both failing to realize that you want the same thing. It's just because you want it your way makes it not achievable, basically. You know, and not, not finding that middle ground to it. Uh, so that, that energy, even though the cycle is closing down, even though you're starting to do that less and less, it's still going to pop up from time to time. Um, ultimately, I see you kind of allowing for the flow to take you where it needs to take you. But again, sometimes, even though the cycle is has been closed off and theoretically you shouldn't be doing that anymore, that tendency is still going to show up of... I want it my way. No, I want it my way. Again, failing to realize you both want the same thing, though. Doesn't matter whose way. There is no my way or yours or the highway or whatever. The point is, what the hell are you trying to achieve with this? And that, to me, looks the same. So, which way it's being made doesn't freaking matter. Let's see what the universe has. To close this off. The Ace of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is basically teaching the both of you to find that common ground, to to not hang on so tightly to this sense of control, like things having to be your way. Um, so whatever this situation is that the two of you are engaged in at the same time, that's what it's kind of teaching the both of you, especially you, because this is your reading, so I'm going to point to you more, but a, a, a sense of knowing, you know, how to find that middle ground, you know, it's not their way, it's not your way. How about that? No, it's got to be somebody else. Mm. No, no, it's just the way. That's it. Uh, but anyways, that's uh, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.